For the final Just Cause 4 DLC pack, the Agency have come to Solis. You'll need to grab a state-of-the-art hoverboard. Yeah, you heard that right. Hoverboard. I'll be damned. And face off against Agency operatives equipped with high-powered weapons and trained in the art of the grapple hook. This time, Rico's not the only one with multi-million dollar gadgetry. Everybody wanna be the hero, but clearly don't really wanna strive for them. As you venture through danger rising to discover the agency's mysterious intentions, you'll soon notice a returning mechanic that will have fans of Just Cause 3 pumped. All right. For this DLC, Base Liberation's back, baby. You told us how much you miss liberating bases, and we listen. These military submarines will comprise of a multitude of objectives, including destroying critical systems with the hoverboard, taking out armored agents, and of course, blowing a lot of stuff up. Watchdogs gone is toast. And even once these are completed, the fun doesn't stop there. Upon liberation, you'll still be able to revisit these bases whenever you want for ultimate replayability. Along with Rico's iconic wingsuit and parachute, Danger Rising adds in the hoverboard as yet another unique method of traversal, making it the open world game with the most methods of traversal ever. And once unlocked, you'll have access to it forevermore. So zipping around so lease is even more varied. You can also jazz up your hoverboard with brand new cosmetic skins that you can earn from completing hoverboard ring courses. Looking good, Rico. Now, if there are new advanced enemies to face off against, it's only right that we are presented with numerous weapon additions to make the job a little easier. Check out the Stormalong M0 Magnesis gun. Its primary fire will levitate objects within a magnetic field and draw them towards Rico, which he can then release in a burst of energy. There's also the Yellowstone Sniper Rifle, a seemingly standard automatic sniper bullet fire for typical use. However, secondary fire is where it really gets interesting. This will deploy a friendly drone to assist you in battle. And not only that, but while stood atop your little robotic friend, if you set a waypoint on the map, it will travel there. Two new major vehicles join the rank of 100 plus within the world. First up, the Canvas Back Hovercraft, an agency sea vehicle that can traverse both water and land. It features a built-in machine gun and an amphibious homing missile. Take to the skies in the Coyote Assault Chopper, an extremely nimble and sleek helicopter with a precise machine gun and the ability to drop sea mines. Look out below. Grab your hoverboard, equip the Magnesis gun, and defeat the agency once and for all. 